Heinz came in Reynolds, and we're going to get into this Apomai hive that was going through a super seizure. We had one queen come back, one did not come back, and we have another surprise. But first, if you leave a comment below, let us know where you're located and where you're watching from, and we're going to send somebody this wonderful Hawaiian Kiave honey from Good Job Bees. I'm also going to be sending a jar of our own personal honey. Now this is really something else. It comes from the Kiave tree on the desert part of the Big Island. And it is white and it is just creamy. It's natural nectar, but it's one of the things they have to worry about is as soon as it comes in, in short order, it starts setting up into this texture. So if you don't get it out of the combs very quickly and into the jars, you're gonna have a really hard time getting it out. It's extremely smooth. The crystals are so small, you can't even fill them with your tongue. So it's absolutely delicious. I'm gonna leave the link below if you wanna check out my buddy's uh, website. They have organic vanilla bean kiave, which is my favorite. Kiave is just a, a very unique honey. But we'll also be sending some Tennessee honey because some of you all are just like us and you need some of that southern honey for those southern biscuits. Mmm, good, good stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're getting into the hive now. Boy, that's good. But I never knew the honey was white. There's so many things about the world of bees to learn. Never stop learning. It's too exciting learning to ever stop. So, again, I'm going to leave a link up here because this hive was going through a super procedure. I would like for you to probably see this whole, you know, process because the difference between swarming and super procedure, sometimes there's a, a really fine line on the differences. And I had several people in the comments like, oh, they're swarming on you. You're fixing to lose that queen. Well, she's still in here. So, she's, they didn't supersede her though. What we did is we took all of the cells for the supersedure and stuck them on the left. And I stuck the queen over here on the right. One of the cool things about the Apame hive is that you can get dividers. Now in the video I didn't put both of them in, but I came back later and took care of that. And so now, we had two different colonies basically in this hive. This was hof hopefully going to allow us to get a queen to c go out and mate and come back from the cell and have our original queen over here. Well, we didn't quite get all that we wanted. But if you'll watch the video, we also made a split off of that colony, and we're going to show you that here in a little bit. That's why it's always good to have a backup plan for your, even your backup plan, beekeeping. So, they've drawn that side out a little bit. Not much on that side. Keep in mind, we've pulled several frames from this colony in videos. So this, this hive has drawn 20 frames worth of combs. I've made two mating nukes off of this in, in videos. So that has a bunch of eggs in it. And of course this is the side that had that super procedure queen. Ah, they finally drew out that wax foundation frame. That's in the video I mentioned how it really didn't, doesn't matter and it doesn't if you choose to do wax or plastic. Um, the main thing is with the plastic is that it has a good wax coat and, and you know the nice thing is you can do whatever you want and there's both options out there. All right it looks like the queen is down in the bottom box. Yes it does. It's a good frame of brood right here though. You know, decent bit of brood. There's a lot of larvae and some eggs down in there. Nice to be able to see all that larvae with the black foundation makes it so much easier to see everything. All right, so we're going to go down to the next box down here. I really like the handles on these things too because that's one of the problems with a lot of the other boxes is you just don't have a very good grip. You can get like half of your finger worth in there. And I'm just, I'm not going to go through everything. Basic, as far as on this side, the queen did not come back over here. No queen from the cells came back. 
So the nice thing is we can just recombine these bees with the old supersedure queen, but the problem is they try to supersede her a couple times, and that's one of the reasons I knew one of the inspections I did before the video that I left above, I saw them making a couple cells, and they were in the middle of the frames. Her, you know, she doesn't lay terrible, but she doesn't lay enough brood for a champ of a queen. Now that's pretty good right there, but consider we condensed her down into small space. And maybe it's not her egg laying as much as some pheromone that she's not producing enough of. There's a lot of things that can cause queens to be superseded. Sometimes you can have the world's greatest queen and if the bees are out of age balance, there's, there's something weird going on like that with the, the pheromones, they'll, they'll still uh, take her out. A lot to learn about. Well, we spent a lot of time looking for the queen in, in this uh, stack of five and the ones above and finally took all the frames out and my inspection yesterday must have just been the straw that broke the camel's back. She was in here yesterday. The laying pattern wasn't that great. They've been building supersedure cells for a while, and again, that's one of the reasons why I knew it was supersedure, was the fact that they just they built a little bit of supersedure cells. Also, when we pulled these trees out of that rotten tree back in a March or whatever it was, they were not a very large colony by any means, so probably the queen's very old. I personally b believe in, in this regard, letting the bees do what they want to do, and she's down in there, and nature is very cruel. And they are, they're ripping her apart. There's her abdomen right there. Yeah, there's her abdomen right there. Yeah, there she is right there so yeah we're gonna let that take its course because she's no good to be honest and the bees know that she's a liability to the colony and if you're a liability in the bee world you're a dead insect now we have insurance plans around here check this out all right doesn't seem like much does it but this is the insurance policy we have for that colony. When we found that superseding process going on, we made that one side over on the left to where they could possibly bring a queen back. Well, they didn't. The right side, we just found out because probably my inspection yesterday, they superseded their queen. Well, thankfully, we took one of those cells and we placed it over here with just a, a little bit of bees but look at all those beautiful eggs down in there now we have a brand new queen that we are going to be able to give to that colony and, and keep it going strong and healthy sometimes nature um, doesn't uh, work out for the the colony and they don't get a queen to come back and that colony dies bees don't do a very good job sometimes of uh, planning those things out. Some bees are a little bit better about it than others. Uh, there she is right there. So there's the daughter. And we'll mark her with a, a little blue dot and we'll reintroduce, her, we'll reintroduce these bees and the queen into that Appa May hive. So because of that it should be just fine and actually better than it ever was before because this queen has a lot of laying yet to do. Her oldest looking larvae are probably about hmm, four or five days old, give or take. So she hasn't been laying very long. So this little insurance policy right here is going to help save that entire colony. Whenever you see a supersedure, it's not a bad idea to make a little bit of a split and just to see if you can get either extra queens or at least get what you need because sometimes Mating doesn't work out very good. Last week I had some really good mating on our queens. Um, a couple weeks before I had about 50%. And if you only have one hive doing this and you get 50% to come back and you only have one and you end up being on the wrong side of that, you're in trouble. By the time you order a queen and get one in, 
you're already in the 11th hour. It just it, it makes it hard. So it's always good to have extra. Anyways, we'll recombine that back together. Everything will be right as rain with the app of my app of May. However you like to say it. I can't still figure it out. Depends on where you're from. And hey, if you'd like to see if you could win that Kiave, just uh, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching this video.